border security, President Trump is expected to make his long-awaited trip to San Diego, California tomorrow. He will be inspecting eight border wall prototypes. The visit comes just days after the Justice Department slapped California with a lawsuit over its sanctuary city policies. Joining me now is former U.S. Ambassador to the U.N., Honduras, Mexico, and the Philippines, former Deputy Secretary of State and former National Intelligence Director under Bush 43, John Negroponte. Ambassador, it's a pleasure to see you this morning. Thanks for joining us. What would you look to see from the president tomorrow as he makes this trip to look at these border wall prototypes? Well, I mean, uh, he's, he seems to be determined to go ahead with this. I'm not sure how much difference it's going to make. Uh, uh, levels of uh, migration from Mexico, uh, certainly by Mexicans, uh, is way down. Uh, the, even the flow has uh, almost been reversed. But the issue still is Central Americans coming uh, up from uh, uh, south of Mexico. My own view is that the real solution uh, to these mig migration issues uh, is, of course, the development and good governments of those countries south of the border. And as long as they're racked with uh, crime, gangs, uh, problems of law and order, uh, there's inevitably going to be a flow towards the north. And uh, I think it's uh, very difficult to arrest. You can, you can slow it down a bit, but I don't think it can be stopped. Yeah, it's interesting that this is the, the president's first trip to California while, while in the job. And the federal government is basically saying to California, what you've been doing is wrong and illegal, and that is protecting illegals in California. What, what's your well, thought on this sanctuary well, city thought, status? Yeah, well, I've, you know, it, I, it troubles me that any locality or any state would defy uh, the federal government on a matter that is clearly right. within federal law. So I think if this ever goes to court, you know, or goes to the Supreme Court, I think the localities are going to lose. So I, 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 on that one, I really... Uh, I'm with uh, the president and with uh, Attorney General uh, Sessions. I mean, it, it was pretty extraordinary w when the mayor of Oakland basically alerted all the illegals, look, you know, go, go get cover. ICE is coming for you this week. Well, no matter what you think of immigrants, and uh, I, 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 that's a separate issue as far as I'm concerned, but I do think that it's wrong for those local officials to do that. Yes, exactly. All right, let me, let me uh, switch gears and ask you about the trade tariffs that are front and center right now. The European Union is threatening the U.S. with retaliatory tariffs in response to the president's steel and aluminum tariffs. The White House National Trade Council Director Peter Navarro told me yesterday on Fox News that he doesn't think America's allies will impose these retaliatory tariffs at all. Listen to this. We've been uncle sucker. I mean, we have these large trade deficits mm -hmm. simply because we're an open market. All we're looking for is fair and reciprocal trade. And yeah. I think our allies at the end of the day will understand that all we're doing here is defending two key industries so that we can come and help with their defense when they need us. Ambassador, this comes as the Trump administration is stepping up the pressure on Canada and Mexico for fair trade during these NAFTA negotiations. What are you expecting this to look like? Will Canada and Mexico give in to demands? Do you think we get a NAFTA deal done? Got to say, it's, it's got to happen in the next 20 days because there are elections in Mexico. Well, these are two of our, uh, out of the three of our most important trading partners, each with over $500 billion worth of trade with us. And it does go both ways, although the trade with Mexico is definitely in a slight imbalance. But uh, I think that uh, if the NAFTA were to collapse or uh, be abolished, uh, that would have uh, serious repercussions on our uh, whole uh, North American supply chain, the economic relationships up and down uh, our respective countries. So I hope something can be done to salvage uh, the NAFTA. I think it's been a very positive thing in the past 24, 25 years. It's quadrupled uh, the levels of trade between the United States and Mexico, and it's helped, uh, I think, uh, improve relations between all three countries. These are strategic partners. I think the way to think about North America, it'd be better to think about it as a platform, a strategic platform, from which the three countries together uh, can compete with the rest of the world. Yeah, I mean, he's obviously looking for a better NAFTA deal. Um, but he's also targeting China in some way, basically making sure China understands the U.S. is serious. I understand that the administration is going to come out with new proposal for trade tariffs or something along those lines against China in the next couple of weeks. Would you be for that? Well, I mean, I'd have to see uh, uh, the details, uh, but uh, and, and I think we got to proceed with, with a certain amount of caution. Let's not forget 
that China also has a, a fair amount of leverage vis-a-vis -vis the United States. They hold a, a lot of U.S. treasuries. Uh, they produce a lot of goods that Americans uh, uh, like to buy at reasonable uh, prices. And the, uh, the other point that uh, troubles me a little bit is to talk about these different kind of protectionist measures at a time when we have almost full employment in our country, mm. I'm not entirely certain what that's going to achieve. The reason we have these deficits is that we, uh, we uh, uh, consume more than we produce. And uh, inevitably, the, a lot of the, those products have to come from other countries. So you agree then with the editorial board of the Wall Street Journal that trade deficits are okay. It's not the same as a budget deficit. It's, well, as you, yeah. Yeah, it's not a zero-sum game. George P. Schultz, uh, the former Secretary of State and Secretary of Treasury, likes to say a trade deficit uh, is a matter of arithmetic. Right. If you, uh, if you, if you uh, produce less than you consume, that's what's going to happen.